y'all better off realizing there's nothing that y'all can do with me. All I ever ask is keep it ain't more than 92 with me, one. As we see here, tiny Salzano students are utilizing the high desks and yoga balls as they participate in class. What is the reasoning for these objects? Let's find out. So we're here with Mrs. Salzano, and um, there's been a lot of talk around school about the, the new big desks and stools and also mm -hmm. The, the bouncy ball, body fit ball we got here. Yeah. Uh, why, why were these brought in? Or well, just the I, reason behind the madness. Okay. <laughs> what we want to know. Madness indeed. Um, I actually wanted some stand up desks for my classroom because there's a lot of research that documents that students learn in many, many different ways. And sometimes students need to be able to move around a little bit. And some students even learn better if they're able to stand up instead of being seated, especially class after class all day long. And so those stand-up desks were the result of a grant that was written this summer. I'm very excited about them. I've had students come and stand at them and also sit down on the stool. They have a nice little kick bar. I don't know if you can get that, but they've got a nice little kick mm -hmm. bar if you want to stand up and a foot needs to be moving. Same thing with the yoga ball. All of this is just sort of based on uh, brain research that documents that people learn in different ways and have different needs and I just want to have a classroom that I feel like is really brain friendly. Nice, nice. And ha have you been doing this throughout your teaching career? Um, pretty much. Um, this is the first time actually that I've had actual stand-up desk in my classroom, but I think I've always been willing to try to mix it up. You know, one of my favorite things to say is there's a reason for chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and I think that analogy works for the way that we learn, and so I've always tried to be really respectful of learning differences and give people the space they need uh, to do what they need to do, even if it's squeezing a little ball um, while we're having class. Thank you. Pretty good guy. I've seen him around. <laughs> no, it's a it's a great environment. Um, the the stand up desk with the little uh, fidgety thing on the bottom is good for uh, just to be able to get some energy out during class because sometimes it can get long. So uh, also with the little balls that she has <laughs> in her classroom that we can uh, toss up and down is fun. So it's a good environment.